Cinema is always going to be a perspective thing. R- respected perspective, whatever. Now, what some people may see as a terrible film, others may praise it as a great film. What some may consider the next big blockbuster, others may think it's just like, okay. And what some people may find a bad film, other people may think, well, it's actually pretty decent. I enjoyed it. So, I, as an optimist, I can usually see the good in bad films. I, I've seen that for years. I mean, even with films that people universally agree are bad, I can usually find something in them to enjoy. I mean, the 2004 Thunderbirds movie. Uh, it was ripped apart by critics, and generally people didn't like it, but I personally did. As a person who watched Thunderbirds VHSs growing up, I personally enjoyed the film. 2016 The Suicide Squad, I know people write it off now as a really not a good movie. I personally saw it, I enjoyed it. It's it's the same. A lot, a lot of films that, you can, that people think are bad, other people can see as good, and films that you see as good, other people may see as bad. It always depends on your perspective. But I may finally be willing to change my perspective on one film that I had previously done a video on saying that I thought it was a bad film and one of the worst films I'd ever seen. Zathura, A Space Adventure. Now, I made a video on this a few years ago saying that while most films I could find something good in, this was, for me, the worst film I had seen so far. However, I might finally be willing to change my mind on that. Now, for those who don't remember, Zathura A Space Adventure came out in 2005, way before I started YouTubing, and it was directed by Jon Favreau, and it was about two brothers, Walter Budwing and Danny Budwing, played by Josh Hutchison and Joe Novobo, and they're kind of two younger warring brothers, like, they, they don't really understand each other, they don't really care and one of them ends up finding a board game in the house called Zathora a Space Adventure and he starts playing it and they end up somehow getting launched into space where they along with their sister Lisa Budwin played by a young Christian Stewart they have to try and play you through the game in order as the instructions say you get to the end of the game you win the game the whole thing resets everything goes back to normal now, it that sounds crazy enough. Not only are they in space trying to play through a board game just to get home, but they also have to deal with these creatures called Zorgons, which are, I think, are just creatures that are hell-bent on destroying humans. At least that's the best I can get. But they also end up encountering a mysterious astronaut played by Dax Shepard, who, upon seeing again this film, I briefly thought, is that Zach Braff? But no, I was informed it is actually Dax Shepard, so my apologies. Now, this film was released in 2005, and it was, it does actually take place in the same universe as Jumanji, which had been released in 1995. So, before the kind of reboot series with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and the rest of them that started in 2017... This was actually their attempt to add another to the Jumanji universe. Which, actually, if they'd managed to go a different route, and if it hadn't been for the sad tragic death of uh, Robin Williams in 2014, the series might actually have gone off in a very different direction. I mean, Jumanji and Zathura, two very different movies with a similar concept, i.e. a board game that ends up creating craziness, They could have actually gone very different with multiple films with different names entirely, each focused on a different board game, which would have actually been pretty cool to see. Now, as I said, I made a video a few years ago stating that while most films I could find a good thing in, Zathura, while I enjoyed it when it first came out, I was really young, as I got older, I felt I really can't enjoy this film. And while there are other films that people consider bad, that if I find them while channel hopping, I'll usually stick around for them. Zathura wasn't one of them, as I just felt it was boring. 
However, after channel hopping recently, I found it on a channel, and I there was nothing I was good on. I mean, I was planning to wa try and wa rewatch The World's End. When I saw it was on, I thought, huh, oh, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. So I began to watch it through, and honestly, I I guess my the, my point of view changed from when I was a child through when I was a teenager to. Now, I can actually see it is a fairly good film. I mean, I don't know if I consider it one of my favourites or even the strongest of the entire Jumanji franchise, but you know what? I'm prepared to change my mind on it. This was a film that I liked when it first came out. I didn't really like it when I was after a few years, but then years later, I can't change my mind on it. I mean, having Jumanji in space... That, that's still pretty cool, and they do manage to do some pretty cool stuff with it, including a robot who ends up showing up part way through, and what they eventually do with the astronaut, which I won't spoil it here, but it is actually fairly clever, and it is a nice way to link back to Robin Williams' character, sort of, in Jumanji. So, Zathura, A Space Adventure. I said I previously didn't like it in a previous video, but you know what, your point of view can change over time, and... I think nowadays I'd change my view on Zathura from a thumbs down to a thumbs up. As I said, it's not one... I think I view it in the same way that I view a Cinderella story. It's not necessarily one I care enough to own, but if I find it while channel hopping, yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? It's, it's a decent film, and I advise you, if you haven't seen Zathura Space Adventure, definitely check it out at least once. It's a decent film. Anyway, till next time, see ya.